back to my youtube channel so today video as you guys see from the title is going to be about the situation with alex and honestly this is the last video i am doing about him i don't care what videos he makes about me i don't care what he says about me i know the truth he knows the truth and if you guys want to believe him that's fine at the end of the day you guys are going to believe what you want and run with what you guys want um i'm just not going to continue feeding into his freaking bullshit to be honest all he does is seek attention he loves it and i'm just not gonna give him that time of day or that attention that he's looking for i'm just gonna be the bigger person and let everything go i know you, i made a live i was super pissed i was on fire and i need to learn to stop doing that when i'm mad because I just get so like fired up and then I just explode because I've been dealing with his bullshit for a while already and it just gets so frustrating and things just build up and build up and then you finally explode but I need to stop um, but like I said this is the last video I'm gonna make I do have everything that I said I had the proof the messages the voice recordings his phone calls all that stuff but i was just like why am i going to keep entertaining him why am i going to continue to put my business out there with him like this and then in a couple months i know that i'm gonna have to be good with him eventually because we have a baby together and i was just like why am i giving you guys a show like that's really all i'm doing is giving you guys a show like honestly for you guys it's a show for you guys it's entertaining but this is my real life this is alex's real life and at the end of the day when these cameras go off and these videos end and you guys are done watching this video you guys continue with your life you guys continue doing what you do and me and him are still dealing with this this is our real reality and it's not like he's just an ex or you know just a regular guy like no i have to deal with this guy until my son is 18 and he's a baby he's only four months so we're gonna have to see each other we're gonna have to talk to each other again eventually so it's just like i'm not gonna just i'm just not gonna do that he could do what he wants he could talk crap he could say what he wants about me that's what he's good at I'm just not gonna respond anymore i am going to make this video though to clear everything up just because his video did not sit well with me the one that he made after court and i'm going to get into how everything happened why we had court and all of this stuff so back when the day after i got released we had seen each other at the mall we had went to the mall and um he was getting a massage and I was sitting there waiting for him to finish his mas massage and stuff and it was so weird to me because I don't go through his phone I don't I'm not like that I don't care like if they're gonna cheat on you they're gonna talk to somebody else they're gonna do it regardless um, they're gonna find a way and the truth eventually always comes out so I'm just not gonna sit there and be going through your phone and I don't have time for that by the way, don't mind my makeup, it's kind of crazy. I've been having it on all day. It's currently one in the morning. I'm super tired, I have a headache. I've been having a headache all day. Um, I just finished putting Xander to sleep, so that's why I'm making this video really quick. Um, all of a sudden, he had told me, he was like, are you going through my phone? His head was down like in the little seat, like you know how they put your head down? So he was like, are you going through my phone? And I was like, no. And then he like tried to pick his head up to see, because I was carrying his stuff and this was out of nowhere like random like he had already been getting a massage for like five minutes and he we weren't talking like he was just i was chilling on my phone waiting for him and then all of a sudden he says that and i was just like no and then i thought it was like in my head i was like why the hell did he ask me that like that's weird so he tried to pick his head up to live with it you know like pushed his head back down and i was like okay now i'm gonna go through his phone and i was like because i want to know why he asked me that what is he hiding okay so when i was going through his phone he has two instagrams so the first one i didn't see anything all the messages like were deleted um like he only had messages from like his family and stuff and like close friends and i was like okay so i quickly had went to his other instagram and then he had like a bunch of fake instagrams and that i didn't even know 
but they were just like um, no picture, no followers and stuff. And so I did like click on his other Instagram though, the one that he uses to talk shit about me. Um, and I was, I went to the messages and then I seen a message with this girl, which is the girl I told you guys, um, the Mulan girl. And I was like, what the hell? So I clicked on the message and it was a video call. So, and it had like the time of the video call and it, when it ended and stuff. So I was like, what the hell were they talking about? And I looked at the date and it was the date that, that he had went to his friend's house. And I was like, so that's what you're doing when you go to your friend's house you're calling girls and i was like that's bullshit so i didn't know what they talked about because it was a video call and it was a pretty long video call because i seen like when it started when it ended the call ended and stuff and then it said like how long so i automatically like my body oh and then i took a picture of his fake instagrams with my phone to block them and i I was like, I was shaking you guys. I was like, oh my God, no the hell he did not. So I got up and I was like, let's go now. I was like, your massage is over. And then he was like, there, it's already been 20 minutes. And I was like, get up. I was like, we're leaving. I was like, it's over your massage. And then I started walking away. So when I was walking away, he finally gets up and he like runs after me. And he was like, what? Like, what's going on? Like, what the hell's your problem? But he started like screaming, like getting all crazy how he gets. And I was like, what the hell are you doing uh, face, I said FaceTiming, but it was like video calling a girl on Instagram the day that you went to your friend's house. And then I was like, her, especially that he had told me that he had talked to her before, like before he met me. And then he was like, um, no, she called me. She did call him, but he was like, she just called me to um, like try to help me and like tell me that she'll pay for a hotel for me, like all this stuff. So after that, I was like, I don't believe you. I was like, that's it. Like, I'm done with your lies. I'm done with your bullshit. And he was screaming at me. He was going crazy in there. And I was like, I'm talking about screaming to the top of his lungs. I was like, we were in a public place. I was like, calm down. I was like, there's people looking. Like, people were literally looking because he was screaming to the top of his lungs. And he was like, let's go, let's go. And I was like, I'm not getting in the car with you like that. I was like, I'm not leaving with you. I was like, like that. You need to calm down. And he was like, let's go now. I was like, I'm not leaving with you. I was like, like that because i already know him and he was like let's go and he grabbed me and i was just like oh my god at this point i'm like hella embarrassed because everybody's looking i was just like oh my god this is so freaking embarrassing he grabbed me and like um he told me let's go now like that and then i was like oh alex calm down like there's cops in this mall i was like they're gonna call the cops i was like calm down He's like, let's go. So I was like, okay, fine, like let's go because they're gonna call the cops on him. So we're walking towards like the exit, and all of a sudden a cop comes behind us. I was like, oh my god, I knew it. And then he was like, sir, you cannot be yelling like that in here. This and that. I was like, oh, we're leaving. And he was like, okay. And then he kept yelling. He's like, let's go. And I was like, shut up, like calm down. And then the the cop finally like grabbed. He was like, um, he grabbed him, and then he was like, have a seat right here. And then he like was on his mic or his whatever walkie talkie and then he, i guess they had the other securities check the cameras and then they he was asking like the people that were right there at the earring place if he, they saw anything and they i guess told him yes and he asked me i was like no he didn't touch me he was just yelling but we're leaving i was like it's just a misunderstanding um he was like are you sure he didn't touch you because on the cameras they're saying that he like grabbed you and pulled your hair i was like no he just like told me in my ear like let's go that's it and like me trying to cover for him so he doesn't get arrested and then i guess like the witnesses were like no like he pulled your hair and stuff and then they arrested him and i was like oh my god like i was just trying to get out of there because i was like i had just got out like i'm not trying to get any more trouble i'm just trying to leave and then i guess he got released the next morning or that yeah i think he got released the next I don't remember the next morning i think it was or that same day so after that happened um obviously you guys seen that we were together and he had his first court hearing and he went by himself and they had gave him options of like either to choose classes or probation or something like that i think he told me and um he said he didn't want to choose any of them so he was going to take it to trial so i got a freaking letter in the mail 
by the way i had emailed the da's office like i don't want to push charges on him like i don't want to have anything to do with this case any of that but the da's office already picked up the case so it's nothing there's nothing i could do at this point like now it's the state of arizona pressing charges against him and um i was like it was a misunderstanding i did the whole email and i sent it he was right there when i was doing the email and um i got a letter in the mail you guys by the way do not mind my makeup my eyelashes like coming off and everything because i've been having this makeup on since the morning and it is currently one in the morning i had to film this video when xander fell asleep i'm super tired i'm ready to go to bed but you guys been asking me for this video so i'm getting it done um so i got a letter in the mail saying that i was obligated to show up to court because he was taking it to trial right and i was like why am i being obligated like i even showed the letter on the live that it said i had to be there so i show up to court and um i obviously see him there she calls me out and she was like hey she called me into like a, a room she put me in there by myself and she was talking to me and she was like um what would you like to be what would you like to be done i was like honestly this is what i told her i was like i don't want to have anything to do with this case i don't want to press charges on him i was like i just don't want to have anything to do with it i was like you know we have a baby together we have to co-parent i was like he helps me with the baby and she was like well really she's like it's not up to you anymore i'm the prosecutor i'm the one that's pressing charges against him um she's like i picked up the case and it's in the state of arizona's hands she was like you're um she's like you were supposed to show up here today because i was like was i even supposed to show up i got this letter saying i was obligated she was like yeah you were supposed to show up today she's like i've been trying to contact you she didn't have my correct number um she was like and if he takes it to so she was she told me what they were going to offer him she said we're going to offer him classes and she didn't tell me how many she didn't tell me any of that she just said we're going to offer him classes and if he doesn't choose the classes and he wants to take it to trial she's like you're gonna have to come to trial and testify against him um they have the video surveillance the witnesses showed up the officer showed up everybody was there that day and i was just like oh my god like what the heck and i was like hopefully he chooses the classes then because i don't want to go through this sorry guys i had to move the camera because my phone was about to die so i had to plug it in so um she was like i was like oh my god like hopefully he chooses the classes because i'm not trying to go through this like trial testify i was like, i have my own case going on i have my own shit going on like i don't have time to, for this and but i obviously i couldn't talk to him she even asked me like have you guys had any contact um did you guys get here together and i was like no and um she was like okay that's it so it was literally like I talked to her for like three minutes and then I went back and said, oh, she was like, if you want, you can sit where all the witnesses are at. You can go back in the courtroom if you feel safe. And I was just like, yeah, like I'm fine. So I went back inside the courtroom. She told me, oh, is it true that he doesn't speak any English? And I was like, yeah, he doesn't speak English. And she was like, oh, okay. Because he told me that, but she was like, I wasn't sure. So she was like, it's going to take a while because we have to wait for an interpreter for him. And I was like, okay, that's fine. So while we were waiting for the interpreter, it literally took like 30 minutes and the court was at, supposed to be at 10 we didn't get out of there until like 11 30 and she was like um so the interpreter finally they took him into i guess the same room or something like that i don't know where they took him but she was like we're gonna talk to him we're gonna offer him the classes if he doesn't take the classes then you know blah blah, blah. we're gonna take a try and i guess they were in there for a while they came back when he came back he was crying so i was like oh my god like what happened like i didn't know what they told him anything like that and then the judge finally called him up to the table i was still sitting on the bench and then they had like the interpreter translating everything he had like a mic in his ear and they had the interpreter like telling him everything that the judge was saying in english but in spanish and um he agreed to the classes and i think it was like 60 classes that he had to do or something like that if you guys have ever been through like this system or you guys know how this works it doesn't take a genius um he said that i told them to give him classes or something like that like i chose classes for him like i had no option and everything is out of my hands at this point once the da's office is pressing charges against you it's no longer me it's them so i don't get to choose what they give you they just told me hey we're gonna give him this option if he doesn't choose this option you're gonna have to show up for a trial and testify against him that was literally all i was told i never said yeah give him this and this is what he needs and no i never said any of that and then he said that i told her that i was scared of him and all this stuff if i if i would have said that 
there's no way that she can go and tell you that that is something that is between me and her everything that i said in that room stays between me and her so that is a lie i never even said that like if i even told her that she wouldn't make me sit in the courtroom with you because there's no, there was no sheriffs in there which is me him and the judge and the judge is like lady secretary and then the, the prosecutor and i was just like if she wouldn't have me in there with you like i never even said that i it just made me so upset that he was lying and saying that i was saying those things when i had went to that court and i could have been a bitch and i could have been like i'm gonna press charges against him like i want this to happen to him this to happen to him i could have been so petty and so bitter but I went with different intentions. Like I told them I don't want to have anything to do with it. I was like, look, we have a baby. He helps me. I was like, we have to co-parent. Like, I don't want to have anything to do with this case. I even told her. I was like, I even told the officer that day. Like, I did not want to do anything because nothing happened. And she was like, yeah, but we picked it up, blah, blah. There was evidence and all this. At the end, um, she was like, oh, he has to wait for his paperwork. She was like, but you're, right. she's like, you're um, all set to go. She was like, do you want the officer to walk you out? She's like, we could have the officer walk you out, which is the officer that arrested him. Because um, he was there and she was like, I could have him walk you to your car. And then she's like, oh, are you good? I was like, no, no, no. I was like, I'm good. I even still went to the bathroom after the officer had left. And then I went to my car. Like... It was not that serious it just made me so mad that he was saying that i was doing these things to him and it's just like really like i went there and i told them like i didn't want that for you and then for you to go and try to make me look like the bad person that i want this for you it's like no um but not gonna lie you need it and i hope it works for you and i hope you learn something out of it and god knows what he's doing because lord knows you need it but i already know how alex works and he's like this when he gets bothered like he goes he talks crap and then he just gets in his feelings and then a week later he's blowing you up and telling you how much he loves you and how much he misses you and that's what made me so mad too because i was just like you had literally just cried to me on the phone the night before we literally hung up like at one in the morning and that's because i told you like okay like that's it i'm going to bed but we were on the phone for an hour and you were literally crying me a fucking river and then you go and talk shit about me the next day and then to top it all off it made me more mad was saying that my son has to pay the consequences like you act like a child like what does Xander have to do with minding your problems me and you are both grown and whatever happens between us and our problems has nothing to do with our baby because at the end of the day that's your son and that's my son and he has nothing to do with our problems he's an innocent baby i think that was the part that pissed me the most off like that he brings the baby in it and he knows that that's a way to get to me but yeah you guys that is what happened and like i said i am not going to after that video i was gonna post everything that i have but it's just so much that i know for sure i would destroy that man and i don't want to be that person because he is xander's dad and i know that at the end of the day we're gonna to have to be in each other's life for the next 18 years i wanted to i know alex is gonna watch this video um for him i just want to say que te deseo lo mejor yo ya no voy a hablar de ti um eres el papá de mi hijo y al fin de día alex a esta gente no le importa no haces un show para ellos ellos ven esto y cuando ya se acaba el video, cuando ya apagamos las cámaras, tú y yo, esta es la vida real de nosotros. Y por qué nos vamos a seguir haciendo daño cuando los dos sabemos que vamos a tener que hablar por Xander. Si no es ahora, en un mes, dos meses, un año. Um, yo sé que tú no fallas como papá, so yo sé que tú vas a querer ver a tu hijo. Y yo no voy a seguir haciendo esto contigo, yo no voy a subir las cosas que yo tengo y darle a esta gente un show porque, como te dije, cuando pagamos estas cámaras es mi vida real y es tu vida real. Y yo no sé, ya me cansé de lo mismo contigo siempre. Desde que tú has llegado a mi vida, Alex, yo he sufrido tanto, ha perdido tanto y ya me cansé. So... Si tú quieres seguir haciendo videos, los puedes hacer um, hablando mierda de mí. 
hazlo, ya no te voy a responder, yo ya no te voy a dar esa atención. Te estoy diciendo esto en este video porque sé que lo vas a ver, que yo ya no te voy a responder, ya cambié mi número, yo ya no quiero este drama contigo, es lo mismo, tenemos un año y medio con lo mismo y ya me cansé. Hey Alex, so, como te dije, yo ya no voy a seguir haciendo esto contigo. Um, quiero decirte que te deseo lo mejor. Nunca te rindas. Sé que saldrás de esto, de lo que estás pasando. Um, ponte para ti, ponte para tus hijos. Ojalá que encuentres un día a alguien que te ame, que te cuide y que te haga ser mejor persona. Y ojalá que tú cambies también porque tú fallas un montón. Igual como yo, igual como cualquiera. Um, y aprendes de esto de lo que pasó con nosotros. Ya lo de nosotros llegó a su final. Um, no me arrepiento de nada. Llegó mi bebé hermoso, lo amo. Gracias por él. Y ya, ¿qué podemos hacer? Ya, la historia de nosotros se acabó. Aquí es el final de nosotros. Lo que viene va a ser mejor para los dos. Pero eso es todo. Um, that is the end of this video, you guys. Like I said, I'm no longer going to make any more videos. Um, Alex can say what he wants, continue to make videos. Um, and I'm just not going to respond. I'm not going to entertain it. I hope you guys... Um, I really enjoyed this video but I hope that this cleared up things and like I said people are gonna believe what they want they can believe me they can believe him um, at the end of the day it's the internet so they're just gonna believe what they want Alex knows the truth I know the truth and that's all that matters and um, like I said this is my real life this is his real life and I'm just not gonna keep doing this on the internet and that is it it i am tired i'm gonna go to sleep bye